And we're working for you now to break down what police say led up to this shooting. Police say the 28-year-old entered the school through a side entrance with two assault-style rifles and a handgun. The police entered the school through the first floor. They say they heard shots coming from upstairs, and that's where responding officers engaged the shooter and killed her. Students were then escorted to a location to be picked up by parents. The president, Joe Biden, weighing in on the tragedy this afternoon. It's heartbreaking, uh, a family's worst nightmare. We have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. NBC's Dan Shinneman is working for you tonight. He has the latest from Nashville. Monday morning, a school day. Shots fired at Covenant School in Nashville. There were so many police cars, and then the ambulances started coming away from the school. And that's when I had heard there was a school shooting. Inside the private Christian school, teachers tried to protect students. She said she was hiding in the closet and that there was shooting all over and that they had potentially tried to get into her room. Police say the assailant entered the school through a side door and began firing. We now know that there are three students who were fatally wounded, as well as three adults inside the school. The shooter fired throughout the school and was on the second floor when confronted by police. The officers engaged her. She was fatally shot by responding police officers. Just 14 minutes after the initial call, it was over. We know that she was armed with at least two assault-type rifles and a handgun. At one point, she was a student at that school, uh, but unsure what year, all of that. But that's what I've been told so far. Students were guided from the school, while anxious parents waited to be reunited with children. The investigation has just started. Three people lost their children today. It's hard to imagine. Something hard to imagine is now reality in Nashville. Dan Shenneman, NBC News. And again, we're working for you tonight to get more information on this tragedy. Please stay with us on air and online at WSLS.com in order to get updates.